Yad e she Renati Yazi Nishia, Twa Haglini Nishle, Ki Ani Bashes Chin, Bet Adni Deshe Honorati Deshanele, Isnas Pas Det Nasha, Ada Watata Utra, University of New Mexico, Di Inschrat, Piano Performance, Do Musicology by Inschrat, Do Bohash Ah, Akot Ego de Nesan Nishle. Good evening, everyone. My name is Renati Yazi. Um, I'm a graduate student at the University of New Mexico, where I am pursuing dual concentrations in piano performance and musicology. I am also a citizen of the Navajo Nation. Thank you for being here with us today. Um, we really appreciate you taking some time out of your busy schedules um, to listen to some beautiful music. Today we are raising funds for the newly established American Indian Musician Scholarship. The scholarship aims, aims to provide um, essential financial resources for Indigenous students who are pursuing a post-secondary education in music. Um, as we all know, music scholarships can be very competitive and few and far in between. So um, my hope is that this scholarship will enable Native students to um, pursue their passions in music and um, raise up a generation of Native musicians that take Indigenous music into the future. That's, um, that's the, my vision for this scholarship and we're hoping that we can um, get two students funded for the spring semester. Um, that's why we're here today. Um, if you would like to donate, the GoFundMe link is in the description box and we thank you really for your support and uh, your time. This evening, you can expect to hear performances from five Indigenous classically trained musicians. Brianna McCullough, Rhonda Head, uh, Dr. Jacqueline Wilson, Dr. Heidi Sanugutuk, Connor Chi, and myself. Uh, we will be playing uh, pieces um, written by both European composers and Indigenous composers, including Tio Vicente, um, Connor Chi, and Louis Ballard. We, I, I really want to offer many thanks to the Heartbeat Music Project um, for taking this scholarship fund sort of under their wing and to the Road Work Center um, who fiscally sponsors the Heartbeat Music Project and therefore is also fiscally sponsoring this uh, scholarship fund as well. So the Heartbeat Music Project, they are an organization that offers um, tuition-free music education for Diné students on the Navajo Nation, um, ages or grades K through 12. And so um, I'm really thankful to them for um, for including me and, and really in taking this scholarship fund um, under their wing. Um, we have really found a temporary home within the Heartbeat Music Project and I'm really thankful for that. I'm also incredibly thankful to our performers. This would not be possible without their hard work, um, their willingness to share their talents, and the time and energy they've put forth in um, recording these pieces for, for you to listen to. And I'm really thankful to them for, for doing this. And finally, thanks to my family, uh, my family, my husband, my parents, um, for being incredibly supportive of my musical endeavors, um, but also this um, this scholarship fund. I, I couldn't do this without their help as well. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. And uh, please join me in um, virtual applause for our performers tonight. Thank you. Yeah.
Ayuki Nanatuete Brianna Makala Na Wadakaruk Arad. Hello, my name is Brianna Makala. Um, I am a Karuk violist. I play both modern and baroque viola. Today um, I'm going to be playing Coyotes with Renata Yazi by Connor Chi. And on baroque viola, I'll be playing the prelude to Johann Sebastian Bach's third cello suite. Yotwa, thank you.
my name is Jacqueline Wilson, and I'm the assistant professor of bassoon at Washington State University. As a musician and Yakima person, one of my biggest passions is collaborating with, commissioning, and performing the works of Native American composers. It is my pleasure to share with you two of those performances today. Each of these was recorded pre-COVID before a live audience with pianist Yuko Kato. The first comes from Louis W. Ballard's Kachina Dances, which was originally for cello and piano. And I will be sharing with you two short movements from this suite, the first Eagle and the second Bees. The next piece is the first movement from Juantillo Basenti's Four Pieces for Bassoon and Piano. This was composed for me in 2018 and premiered in 2019. And the movement I'll be sharing with you from that is titled Bluebirds. It's one of my favorite pieces to play and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.
Hello everyone, my name is Rhonda Head and I'm from the Opaskwayak Cree Nation in Northern Manitoba, Canada. It's a real honor for me to be performing for you today and I want to thank Renata Yazi for reaching out to me and asking me to be part of this amazing fundraising event for the American Indian Musician Scholarship and I'm a huge advocate for for helping out our Indigenous brothers and sisters who are wanting to become musicians. So the first song I'm going to perform for you today is called Kesagi Ten, I Love You. And I'm, re I'm going to be re-releasing it again. I, I, I recorded it with the Prague Symphony in the UK and it's going to be released on November 24th.
and that's Kasagitin, I love you, which is which mean which means it's in the Cree language, which which means I love you. So I hope you enjoyed that song, and the next song I'm gonna perform uh, is called Alva Maria, and I sing it in the Cree language. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I, once again, I don't, I'd like to thank Renata Yazi for reaching out to be to me to be part of this amazing event. I guess the Kasagi did.
<laughs> Can I eat it now? Well, I never thought I'd see Connor at my house. <laughs> when he was just a little boy, he would get dropped off along with the uh, scooter over at piano practice. Yeah, I've seen him running first, and the next thing you know, he has to go.